So the transverse reinforcement is going to have three primary roles. Uh, the first is it's going to resist shear stresses. So when a, a load is applied, we're going to, you know, get shear cracks. And this reinforcement is going to help restrain these cracks and uh, provide shear strength. So the second role is that the uh, transverse reinforcement is going to help confine the concrete core. So our, uh, I guess, concrete is going to want to push out and expand. as we looked at in the uh, previous section on confinement. And what's going to happen is our transverse reinforcement is going to provide a restraint. And this will allow us to reach higher strengths uh, than we would have seen before. And the amount of benefit gained is going to be dependent on our transverse reinforcement, the size and the spacing of it. Uh, the third role is it's going to provide buckling restraint. to uh, our longitudinal bars. So our bars are going to want to buckle. And uh, they're going to want to buckle uh, in between two ties or across multiple ties. And what our reinforcements will do is it's going to provide buckling restraint. So it's essentially going to force a, uh, a higher mode of buckling.